when you walk yeah. out. <laughs> Can we do that again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can just keep doing that yeah. over and over again. <laughs> so nice to meet you. I am a huge fan. No, you, I am a huge fan. You are so incredibly talented in, in everything that you do, and I love this new movie, which we'll talk about. Thank you. Um, and so uh, this has been really just a couple of years for you that this has been this kind of attention, right? Yeah, it hasn't been very long. Yeah, and are you used to it? <laughs> totally. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's bizarre, but most of it actually centers just in LA, so as soon as I leave LA, it's like nobody has any idea who I am and really? nobody cares. Not it's, yet? It's, it's, it's almost offensive. Uh, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so as long as I'm in LA. You could carry these magazines uh, that you're yeah. on the cover of. Well, I'm just going to get a t-shirt or dress, just dress up as Katniss yeah. and walk around. <laughs> With the big bow and arrow bun and I've always wanted to like, dress up as Katniss and go hiking. Uh -huh. <laughs> people people are like, grabbing their dogs. Yeah. Running away. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Kentucky. Kentucky. And, and how's your mother enjoying your success? Oh, she's, she's very happy. She has more fun than I do. She called me one time. Recently, I've just got into the Academy, which was really exciting for me. That's exciting for any actor. And then my, I get a call from my mother while I was in England, and she goes, I did something hilarious. And I was like, <laughs> what? She was like, I voted. And I was like, you voted for what? The Oscars. <laughs> and I was like, you voted for the Oscars? What do you mean? She was like, the ballot came here, and I voted. <laughs> <laughs> She, she thought I'd be like, oh, that's hilarious. I'm going to get kicked out of the academy. All right. Uh, fortunately, she did it wrong and mailed it. I think she mailed it back to herself. Uh -huh. So I got to do it again. That's, that's horrible. So yeah. she just thought anybody who receives the ballot can vote? <laughs> like, it's, yeah. like it's the People's Choice Awards or something. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm one of the people. You have to be in the academy. Yeah. Wow. So, so did you see who she voted? Did you agree yeah. with who she voted for? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't. And, and you're now, are you shooting everybody? reacted to the Hunger Games, huge movie, obviously, everybody is excited about that. You're filming the sequel now? You're in the middle of it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And where are you filming that? We're just about to go to Hawaii. Oh, that'll so, be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Not too shabby. That's, yeah, that's not too shabby. Yeah. But you were in Atlanta shooting? Mm hmm And you, you swam with sharks, I understand? Not not for the movie, but just to yeah, do it. Yeah, just for fun. Because <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and we you wanted to, this... to swim with the sharks? Yeah, well, I went swimming with sharks once before when I was in Belize, and I was like on the way in the boat on the way to the sharks, and I was like, I was like, yeah, because they're nurse sharks, so, like they don't bite, right? And he's like, no, 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 they grab, suck, and twist the flesh off. And I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh that's how they uh, do it. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I was like, I've done it, I can do it again. And then I was like, they were whale sharks, so I wasn't originally afraid. And then they said that the the groupers were the most aggressive and that they were the size of a Volkswagen and I have a Volkswagen so I know that a fish should never be that big. <laughs> and I was became terrified of this grouper but they're like don't worry they always stay by the rocks and I'm like okay they always stay by the rocks. And so I'm swimming and I'm up at the top and it's whale sharks and I'm not even enjoying myself because I'm like grouper, 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 where are the groupers? <laughs> and then lo and behold there comes one swimming straight up to the surface and I start screaming and flipping out and they don't like it's in a tank like at a museum. It's a very safe environment. Environment. There's oh, that's Sorry. a grouper. That's a look at it. That's huge. Nothing should look like that. I didn't know they got that. I know what groupers are, but I didn't know they got that big. Yeah, they get the size that's, of a book. That's like actual size right there. Yeah, that's real size. And so the and they're aggressive. If you're in an aquarium, the aquarium must be gigantic. If that's in the aquarium. Oh yes, it was a very big aquarium. Wow. I don't. Yeah, I don't. It, it must be giant fish like food to kind of so dip hard. over to fit the fish in the in that. They do what? I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know what you said, but it scared me. Well, it, 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 you, whatever you said made my palms sweat. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just thinking scared it was groupers. an aquarium <laughs> and how they would feed fish like that, and that's enormous. That's that's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Well, you, but people anyway, who pay, and then I go in. I thought maybe you're like fish. That flashed through my mind. I was yeah. Like, oh my God, I'm part of a plot, right. and they're gonna feed me to the groupers. <laughs> part of a plot? Like people would actually put you in there to feed you? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> You're, that's not gonna happen. Hey there. Hi, hi. The audience is so well lit, I feel like I know all of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's normally dark out there. No, I like, when we started the show, I thought they should be part of the show. They shouldn't be in the dark. They should be as lit as we are, so we actually like include it. them in the show. Okay, cool. That's uh, on purpose. It's, do you want it's me to turn? It's a little scary. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. Do you I not want to see them? No, 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 it's fine. Just keep smiling. Okay. <laughs> be supportive. <laughs>
Um, so, first of all, the movie is fantastic. Portia Thank and I you. loved it. We watched Dang. it and said, this is like a good old fashioned spy thriller that the way movies used to be made. And I, yeah. I just love it. I think oh. you're great in it. I think the movie is fantastic. So, I highly recommend it. I Thank think it's fantastic. You so much. And it comes out today, so now you're officially on vacation. Yeah. And uh, you have an alter ego when you go on vacation. Yeah, I can't, I can't go on a vacation right now because like, I just can't, ha I can't deal with Gail. Like, at the I need to rest before Gail. Okay, why um, did you name her Gail? I didn't. Um, she almost named herself. I think my girlfriends probably named her Gail. Mm -hmm. Just by the way, she, by the way I look. I, I, and it's a very specific drunk, too. It's not just like every time I'm drunk, I turn into this, ga you know, I, I think she's like some sort of like, tortoise gambler or something like I don't I don't always turn into this masculine alter ego that like jumps into shark shark ridden waters just to make my friends laugh my friends were like that's like too far Jen like no not funny it's not every time I think it might be rum which is what I brought up <laughs> to Colbert because the only time I drink rum is on vacation well you're on vacation bring the rum um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep doing this oh my god I can't. I really can't. I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> oh They're my all God. labeled. That's rum They're punch. They're fake, right? Are they? Let's see if they are. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! But you don't normally. My whole thing. I'm not this big of a drinker. I'm when I'm on a on a press tour. I really drink a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only on a press tour. Yeah, but like if I'm working and like filming, then no. I can't. It's not like I'm like you know <laughs> like this every night. No. Well, you wouldn't be able to because mm -hmm. uh, you're you're very professional. No, but press and tours. It's the only way to make it through. Yeah. So um, let's talk about Gail some more. Okay. Wh while you drink that. Um, Gail's a lovely. She's got a heart of gold. Uh huh. You know? Can we show just, a picture of Gail? Because uh, she does look very. There different. she is. There is my girl. So that's zoom how, in, please. That's how you normally look, and then Gail is. What is the difference First there? First of all, that's not how I ignore. Oh my God! <laughs> look, I was trying to look cute. I was like having, getting photographed with all my like girlfriends on the beach. Like I wanted to look cute, and look what I can't even repeat it. Like. I, it's, my whole face is just crooked. It's a, it's a different face. Yeah. That's not your normal smile. No, I hope not. No. I mean, it might be. I don't know. No. But the hair, too, just so presidential. Yeah. <laughs> what happens? So you become braver. You, you go into shark-infested waters. I'll just give you, like, five seconds of gale. So okay. from there, we went conch diving. We pull up the conch, and the guy driving our boat goes, look, they all have little worms. I took it out of his hand and swallowed it, and then pulled the worms out of all the conks and swallowed all the worms. And some of my friends are like, kind of laughing, but they're like, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then we pull up and he's like, and this is where the fishermen clean all the, all the fish out. You know, so there's all these sharks here. And I was like, sack! I just jumped <laughs> in. And everyone's like, somebody get her some water and coffee. She's uh, gonna die. Wow. Um, it was just like one masculine, like, a, what is that? What are those people called? Adrenaline, Adrenaline junkies? junkies? Yeah, and I'm like, I'm normally like pretty cautious. Uh-huh. I've never you really broken You sit like that? <laughs> like that. <laughs> wow. In my real life. And then I, I get rum in me and I'm just like, let's arm wrestle! Uh-huh. So, because usually if you drink vodka, you don't, you don't become Gale? It's only rum? I'm trying to think what I drank at your birthday. Vodka. Okay. I think, you, I think you did. Yeah, and that did something but, else, but not Gale. But I think, I think someone was passing a tray. I think it was Reese walking around with a tray of tequila shots, though. So I don't know if you did that. I probably knock the tray over. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, all I know is after five minutes, me and Jennifer Aniston had our arms around each other. No, I love you the most. <laughs> no, you, I love you. I love you. <laughs> we were just like, Ugh. nostrils flared. Wow. Really intense. I love her. Uh, <laughs> and she loves you. I love a lot of uh. people at your party. <laughs> 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 so what kind of drunk was this on? Uh, this Conscious. was a red carpet, and I want to know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! What? No! Oh, oh God, it was so you... awful. OK, in my defense, please take her away. <laughs> oh, my but God. That's... Oh, my God. That's not Gail, right? No, that's someone else. I just met her the other night. I feel like her name ends with an E. <laughs> Um, or like Veronica or something. I don't know. So what happened was I did Andy Cohen. I was drinking a lot of wine. 
and then um, and then I went to Colbert, tried to sober up, was like drinking coffee, and I was like, uh oh, I got too drunk with the housewives, which is something I've always dreamt of saying. So I was like, I got too drunk with the housewives, trying to drink coffee, and then he pulls out shots of rum in the middle of the show. Then I have to go to the premiere, and I am hammered. And so I get on the red carpet, and I'm like, don't look drunk. <laughs> Don't look drunk. And then I look like I've been electrified. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was you trying not to look drunk? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It would have been better just to look drunk. Yeah. I think. I think, I think my nipple was out too. I was just all sorts of awful. I don't think your nipple's out. Is that your nipple out? I really think um, drinking is a good idea for me. I, yeah. I, I, good way to get through a pressure. Yeah. Also. No, it, it worked out. You did uh, 60 Minutes uh, in, uh, and you live in my old home. Yes. And it was so fun to watch what you've done with my home because I like it. it oh, looks, you do? I love okay. it. Yeah, it looks great. Um, and they, your friends surprised you with a self-portrait. Yeah, my friends are total jerks. They're why, the worst. Why was that so embarrassing to you? Uh, okay. I mean, um, you got... It was humiliating. This is why it was embarrassing to me. So my mom comes over to my house and she has this painting, and I haven't seen it yet. And she goes, I just have to tell you something about, oh my God, please, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. My mom thought this was a masterpiece. She said it was worth easily $3 million. And my friend, Justine, the Italian one, was, um, was there for this, for my mom saying, this is an absolute masterpiece. And me being like, mom, please just throw it in the garbage. Like, please, can we just, it's not a masterpiece. How old were you it's when not, you painted it? I was like, I don't know, 16. I was way too old to paint. I'm not, I'm not an artist. <laughs> and, um, and so my friend was there and clocked it and I knew that that was bad. So I hid it in my garage and she found it the day that 60 Minutes was coming. And you know, like 60 Minutes is coming. I'm like so nervous. I'm like, what are you guys gonna talk about? What are you gonna say? And they're like, come on. And then they go and do something like that. Well, I think it's, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. So we have a surprise <laughs> no. for you. So let's let's uh, show everyone where. Let's go outside. Um, um, no, no, that's not real. Thanks. That's not real, right? Is that real? <laughs> I don't know. Is it be magic? Oh my God! Look at the nose. Look at the lips. Three million dollars. Yeah. That is a master. Okay, <laughs> that's a masterpiece. <laughs> All right. It's starting to feel like some sort of pawn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're known as one of the most relatable, candid stars in the world, and we're going to see how honest you are a little later. We're going to play Burning Questions. Oh, boy. All right, we're back with Jennifer Lawrence, and uh, we are going to play one of my favorite games. It's called Burning Questions, but today we're going to call it Jennifer's Law. If you could only drink one cocktail for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm. Scotch on the rocks. Really? No, gin martini. <laughs> Really? Dark and stormy? What's that? I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, uh, red wine. That's what I'll say. It's not a cocktail, otherwise I would have said red wine too. Okay, I am so sorry. I will say tequila. You okay uh, with that? Gin. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a better kisser, Liam Hensworth or Bradley Cooper? Um, Close your eyes and try to remember. <laughs> Bradley? <laughs> Bradley, okay. And I don't know. If you could only watch one reality show for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I think I know. Do you want to say it at the same time as me? Yeah. Vanderpump Housewives. Rules. Oh, what is it? Yeah, see, close. What is it? Vanderpump Rules. Oh, Vanderpump Rules. I, I don't know. They've really gotten up and taken, they're, they're, they're killing it. Yeah. You've called yourself a hypochondriac. Uh, what was the last illness you uh, were sure that you had? Um, a stroke. It wasn't like a disease, but I thought I was having a stroke. What, what were the symptoms? Just a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I love me on rum. <laughs> when you're alone, what do you talk to your dog about? We talk about how we're going to go for walkies. Um, we talk about how if she ever sees a coyote, run to mom. Um, we talk about... <laughs> We mostly talk about walkies and bones and how, how good of a girl she is. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Pippi, if you're watching, you're a very good girl. <laughs>